there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a procedural ink bleed effect in Blender. So this is what you should get when you're finished with this tutorial and now let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is set up your scene. So type numpad 7 on your keyboard to go into top view. <coughs> and uh, type control and then alt and then numpad 0 to bring your camera into top view. And type X and click delete to delete the default cube and right click on this lamp here and type X and click delete to delete the lamp. So now we've cleared up our scene and uh, we want to add in the text that's going to add our that's going to have the um, bleeding effect. So select the create tab, scroll through here and select the text tab and we've now added some text. So let's type tab on the keyboard, erase the text and type some custom text. So we'll type, um, let's see, procedural, and type tab to exit text edit mode. And go into the text object data tab, and under the paragraph and horizontal alignment, select center. Now we're going to open a font that we have on our computer, and we'll include a download link for it in the description. And the font we'll use is called Velocity. So click Open Font. Alright, so now we can uh, change the spacing on our letters. And just size this up by typing S and left clicking. And move this down on the Y axis. And now we're going to start adding our effect. So let's change to the cycles render engine and uh, type in and click display here and check only render and make sure you go into material view. Now we're going to add a new material and make it an emission material and we're going to start our procedural magic in the split screen over here. So let's split the screen and go into the node editor. And scroll up to zoom in. So let's type Shift B and bring a render border over part of our text by left clicking and just dragging that over. And go into render view and uh, let's make our background black. Alright, so now with our text selected here, let's click Add Shader and uh, Transparent Shader. And let's click Add Shader. Mix shader and hook it up to the emission shader and hook that into the bottom input. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use a procedural texture to um, to calculate the mix between these two shaders. So, click Add Texture and Noise Texture, and let's put the factor up into the mix shader factor. Let's click um, Add Input texture coordinate and put it up here and left click and let's put the object output into the noise texture input and that way we get better procedural mapping across our text so we have our procedural texture loaded into our text the thing is it doesn't have enough contrast to mix with the transparency so it's just got a light transparency so let's click add color brightness contrast and hook it up to the noise texture and just put the contrast up and put the brightness up let's put the brightness down and let's put the detail down to zero for now with the noise and let's put the contrast up to five and let's go with the eight and the higher the contrast the better you'll get with the um the transparency, the better mixture will do with the transparency. So now we basically got our high contrast mixed between the um, between the emission and the transparency value. And uh, if you scroll down to zoom this out, what we now want to do is use some of this procedural texture to mix in with the emission value. So let's click add color mix and input this here and let's put this is white and make this color be red 
and uh, let's put this into the mix input and just left click on this and type shift D and pull the contra pull the bright contrast there and let's put the contrast down to 75 let's just put it a little bit lower okay and let's change the top color to red and the bottom color to white all right so let's go up to zoom in so you can see the effect of that so you can see a little bit of white on our edges and uh see if we put the contrast up brightness up and you can see we've got that nice effect so we've got the nice white outlining the red what we want to do now is we want to animate the procedural texture to kind of make the text appear so in case we wanted 60 frames per second animation let's go to the render tab and change it to 60 frames per second and let's make sure we have AV sync turned on and uh, let's get started animating so on frame 70, 75 we will left click on the brightness contrast here let's see let's animate this one and uh, we will hover our cursor over this file and type I and this file and type I and let's rewind and let's make the brightness a little higher then so we get complete transparency and uh, let's see we want it just when it gets that transparency and that should be good have a cursor over that and type I for both values. Now let's play this through. And we have the procedural bleed coming in. And let's put the brightness down a bit. And let's have that. Have your cursor over that and type I. And have your cursor over that and type I. And now we should get our full material appearing. Now we're going to also have to animate this brightness contrast value. So let's have a recurse over this. Make sure you're on frame 75 and type I. And have a recurse over this and type I. And uh, now let's look at the other frames we've inserted keyframes for. And 65. So let's. Let's actually go to frame 87 and let's put the brightness up. Oh, we'll put the brightness down. Okay. All right. And have a recurse over that and type I. And uh, have a recurse over the contrast file and type I. And just pull that back. And you get that nice procedural. And let's see. Let's left click back on this one and scroll on the timeline so we can see the previous keyframe. And that's about frame 65. So let's select this and put the brightness up. Have your cursor over that and type I. And just play this through. And let's put the brightness up a little bit. Alright, so we can have it about 14 in this frame. So let's change the value to 14.8. Have your cursor over that and type I and play through. We can get a little bit higher. Let's see. So we get an outline from the get go. So let's go with the value of 20. Have your cursor over that and type I and move this through and that looks much better. Okay, so now we have our procedural text coming in effect. So one thing you want to do now is get rid of that render border. So control B and if your animation is uh, too quick, you can go into the dope sheet and pull this out. And just left click to wherever you want that to be and then rewind 
I'm going to just right click on this and pull this back and wind it back and left click and now your procedural effect should take a little bit longer and it should just come and so that looks fairly nice so we pretty much finished creating our procedural glue effect so uh, you can change the colors around if you like you can change also the um, the brightness and contrast values to suit your animation and you can always always space those keyframes out in the dope sheet or just squeeze them in closer to each other if you want to stretch out the animation or make it um, a little faster so now that we're finished with this tutorial we're going to uh, let's see change our output settings just in case you want to render this out to a video right now so you can choose MPEG and and MPEG 4 and MPEG 4 and change the bit rates 14,000 and since our animation only spans from about here to here let's change the start frame and the end frame and that looks pretty good. So, if you don't want an error to show up on your computer when you try to render this out, you want to choose an output folder for your render to go to. So we'll call this Rock Incomplete and click Accept. And um, now we are done with this tool. So if you would like to see more tutorials and uh, just all around Blender content from Partners in Crime, make sure you check out our website and our links in the description below. And if you found the tutorial helpful, feel free to leave a like and a comment below. So that's all for now, thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials from Partners in Coordinated Rendering of Ideas, Motion and Effects.